Hey guys, this is the hike to San Bernardino Peak. Uh, it's a pretty cool hike. There's not a lot of people on this hike, so uh, you have a lot of the scenery to yourself. The scenery is beautiful. You get to see all the big peaks in the area. Uh, and one of the nice things about this hike is you see this, the views as you go up. So there's not a lot of tree cover. A lot of it's kind of exposed so you can uh, see views like this. It's a longer hike and it's steep, so you need some, uh, some kind of level of fitness to do it. But uh, if you have that, it's definitely worth doing. So. Let me show you how to do it. The hike starts by the hiking boards in the lot, not at the end of the lot. So go up the trail by the hiking boards. And pretty quickly it gets steep and it's steady. You can see there's great views off in the distance there. So if you get tired, you just stop and, and check them out. It's basically a series of switchbacks that goes up. It was all engineered in the 30s by the CCC. And so yeah, here you're going into the San Gorgonio Wilderness. Cool little sign and great views of Mount Baldy, Big Bear, and all that jazz. Around three or four miles in, the trail starts to um, get a little less steep, and you're gonna go through basically fields of manzanita. It's a nice little area to catch your breath. And uh, you're gonna also have here views once again, and not only views of um, San Bernardino Peak, which is up ahead there, that's where we're going in the end, but you're gonna have uh, great views off into the distance. About four miles in, there's a trail junction. You're gonna to wanna to follow the trail to Limber Pine. Limber Pine is a uh, campground, so if you wanna make this a two-day trip, you can backpack there. And once you go through Manzanita Flats, it once again gets pretty steep, and you go uphill here. Uh, you know, if you get tired, just uh, check out the views. That's Mount Baldy, Angeles National Forest in the distance there. And uh, again, views the entire way. Now when you get to Limber Pine, it's a little confusing. There's sort of a uh, trail off to the right and then a marked trail with stones to the left. You're gonna wanna go on this trail to the left here and go down the stones, but you can see there's a cool little camping area. So if you wanna camp, it's about 9,200 feet. From there, you once again go up, of course, and uh, you know, take it easy. It's a long climb, it's at altitude, so if you get tired, you just need to take a break and stop. Now, one of my favorite areas is uh, about a mile before the summit, there's a little overlook here, and you kind of branch off the trail, there's a stone bench, and from here, you can see almost everything. There is Mount Baldy in the distance, Inland Empire, Santa Ana Mountains, uh, come around here, San Jacinto, and then San Gongorneo. So the views are spectacular. Once you're done that, you uh, head back on the trail, and there's this little stretch left up to the summit here. And again, the views on this are pretty spectacular. So keep heading up. Pretty soon you're going to find a little junction. There's a little cairn there. So you're going to head up the very steep part to the right. And... Once you get up these last few hundred feet, you're going to come up to the summit. And the summit has a big pile of rocks here that you can stand on. There's a little trail register. And uh, yeah, the views. So San Gorgonio, <laughs> that was a mouthful, San Jacinto. Uh, and then if you go around to the sort of west facing side of the peak, uh, you can see the Santa Ana's. And then over here, Mount Baldy, which you'll be seeing the whole hike. And uh, the cool thing is you're going to be up above Big Bear, so you can see Big Bear Lake. And that's the hike. So check it out, get a permit, and make it happen.